Freddie. All right, here with Bianca Pagnanon and Bianca, what a round out there! <laughs> Thank you. What a round out there today. Just take me how you take me your thoughts through this first round of the Cognizant Founders Cup. I really tried to stay patient out there. This course is very narrow, so I just kept my mindset very, very simple. Just try to hit fairways and greens, and that's exactly what I did. I think for the most part, I stayed very, very patient, but I made sure to give myself a lot of like good looks on birdies and. You know, just try to take everything hole by hole. I mean, I had a pretty good break last week to just kind of reset, and I think it did me pretty well this week. What did you do in that break? I literally just rested, stayed at home. Well, I was home for like three days, which is nice. It's always nice to sleep on your own bed, even for that short period of time, but it's pretty much what I did. You did some journaling, just reflect on what I've been doing so far and try to think of new ways to make you know things better. I know you've recently moved to Florida in the past couple of months, so I'm assuming when you say home, you mean home in Florida now on the East Coast. Yes, <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's weird because I, f I feel like now this isn't the same kind of flight, this isn't the same kind mm -hmm. of preparation. Exactly. So what was this week like for you, kind of, as you said, looking at your mindset and kind of going about it a different way? It was something new, but in a good way, because I think for the past few years, I've based myself in California, and every time I'd fly to Jersey, I'd have to take into account, you know, the new time zone flying across the, the map, or, well, I guess the U.S., <laughs> but it was nice just having a two-hour flight, not struggling with a time zone, waking up three hours later than <laughs> what I should be waking up, but it's, I think it's a good change, so I'm looking forward to what else, what good luck Florida brings me, my new home. <laughs> Um, that was a 66 that looked all the world like it'd be a 62. Uh, do you walk away saying, wow, I played really well today, or do you say, man, I left some out there? I guess I just try to take the positives, you know, out of this game. At least I know that I could play good golf on this course. So I guess, you know, I'd say that it was, I wouldn't say it was the best 66, but you can't really complain over a 66. Six under is six under, and it put me in a good spot, especially for tomorrow. So I guess... You always just try to look at the brighter side of things. And what happened over the course of the last week and a half that you saw this coming? Because you've had some struggles leading into this. I guess, like I said, a reset was good. I've been, I've been struggling with tendonitis, so it's been tough trying to take a break just because the only way to really kind of heal from this would be rest and just self-care, I, I would say. So, I don't know. I just try to take things day by day now. It's hard, you know when you know that you've had a couple of bad weeks but having a break having a few days off it's i think it's very good for me just because i get to just focus on myself think of what i could do better and just go on from there and you've got 431 relatives in the area um how how fun and how difficult is it having that many people around that are you know your cousins and that sort of thing I think it's fun. I mean, for the past two nights, so I'm staying with my aunt, and uh, for the past two nights, three nights, I've been having dinner with my cousins, and it's really nice because I don't really get to see them that often, especially with how busy my schedule gets. But I mean, I just moved to Florida, so I mean, it's a shorter flight, but I think, especially during tournament weeks where you know it's gonna be just stressful emotionally, uh, mentally, and physically, it's, it's nice to kind of have that break and see familiar faces. Taking a look specifically at the round, um, a birdie on two, six, seven, and nine to have a bogey-free front nine. What was working so well there, and how did it feel to have a birdie as you made the turn? I honestly just hit every of every one of those birdies very close. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I feel like I probably could have made more birdies, but I did try to capitalize on the shorter ones and just made sure that. I um, got the job done on those, but I don't know. I just try to take everything hole by hole, and I think it's been working out pretty well. I kind of figured out a new way to kind of help myself out on the course, so I think it's been it's been good. What's the new way? Kind of like, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to share it. I'm kind of shy. That's but, okay. <laughs> but I think, because um, before this, comp my competitive round was um, the US Open qualifier, and I try to apply apply it there and it worked very well so heading into this week I was like okay let's see if it works again and I think it's it's done I've been doing good <laughs> you talk um, a little bit about mm -hmm. getting through to the US Open I know there was a mm -hmm. playoff 
I believe as well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be able to get through to the U.S. Women's Open, how much was that kind of a momentum starter as you got here? You said a little bit earlier that when you got here, you said that you thought you could do well on this course. Was it just because you like this course, it brings out good game, or did that really kickstart some momentum for you? I could definitely say that the U.S. Open qualifier was a bit of a kickstart. I w I wasn't playing great leading up to that week. I was very, very stressed. I didn't even tell anyone how stressed I was heading to that. I mean, it just felt like I had no control over my game. And I just told myself, this is something new. Brand new week, brand new day. Anything can happen. Golf is just, it's a crazy game. One week or one day you could have a really bad round. The next you could shoot a 61. It's just, I, I just try to erase everything that's going on in my head just to start fresh and I think it really helps mentally just to not focus on the bad stuff that's been happening. So I would say the US Open qualifier was a very, very good kickstart to the momentum. And uh, I mean, this is the first time I've actually gone through a qualifier, so I think it's a lot more fulfilling and rewarding. Absolutely. Before we uh, go back to you real quick, I just want to take you take me through that eagle on number 12 today, the Aon Risk Reward Hole. What was going so well for you there? <laughs> Uh, it's a pretty narrow hole, and I just made sure that I hit it right down the middle. My caddy and I just choose a good target. And I was like, just just hit it. Honestly, it's I kind of treated it like a long par four, maybe I would say. But I mean, for today, I knew that mm -hmm. I was I was hitting it good, so I just hit it a little bit right at center of the fairway. I had a hundred and fifty in. I hit a nine iron. Had. I think I was like 15 feet maybe straight up the hill and it was a pretty straight putt so I was like back of the cup let's go and I executed it well and I made made the eagle I was like let's go <laughs> give myself a pat on the back <laughs> you were able to also reach nine and reach 14 with an iron yeah so and and I don't think anybody else reached nine today so. I didn't think I could reach nine honestly I hit a so I hit a draw in that hole and I was like, okay, I mean, I'm in a pretty good spot. And during the practice round, my caddy and I already had that down as a three shot hole, especially with the water on the right, it gets pretty tight. But I was in a good spot and I knew that I, I felt good heading into that hole. So I don't know, I guess I had a lot of trust in my club and I knew that I could hit it where I wanted. So I just went for it. And I mean, I kind of just missed it long, but I converted the birdie. And what iron did you have into 14? 14, I had a, that was a four iron. Four iron? Yeah, 218, I believe. 218. Yeah. Now, now, the driver's obviously one of the most effective weapons in your bag. Is it, this golf course, as you say, is pretty narrow. Um, is it something that you feel comfortable with on this golf course? I mean, I feel like for this week, I feel pretty good about my driver. So if I can hit, if I feel like I can hit my driver straight, I'm going to hit my driver. And as long as I really know where to miss, I think I'll be fine. I think there's a decent amount of bailouts off the tee just knowing where to miss and I think it worked out pretty well just making sure I have the right targets just so if I miss hit it I'd still be in a decent spot the tee shot on nine was 290 was that the longest of the day I didn't know that but uh maybe <laughs> I guess all right thank you Bianca thank you